Good morning, Roosevelt friends. I'm Mason. Today is Monday, April 4th, 2022. I'm Bella. We hope that the month of April is off to a great start for you. Please rise and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Lunch for today is potato crunch fish. On Tuesday, we will have a garden salad with grilled chicken. On Wednesday, it will be hamburgers. On Thursday, breaded chicken. And on Friday, pizza day! Let's do a check for the weather for the upcoming week. Temperatures are starting to feel more like spring. We will be in the 50s and 60s for most of the week. We may see some rain in the middle of the week. Fun fact, today's National School Library Day. Make sure you stop in the LRC and thank Mrs. Sorge and Ms. Johnson this week. Tomorrow is National Deep Dish Pizza Day. Maybe you could try something new this week if you have never tried it. Remember, today and every day, be the best version of yourself. Let's say the Roosevelt Pledge together and then we will hear from Miss Aber. Today, I will make good choices. I will be safe, respectful, and responsible. I will do nothing but my best. I am a Roosevelt Ranger. Hello, Roosevelt. I'm Mrs. Aber, your principal. No Mrs. Schaefer today. What a bummer. I miss working with Mrs. Schaefer for announcements. I guess I'll have to do it alone. So hello everybody. It's been a while for video announcements and it's great to be back. Here it's April, it's spring, a lot of things happening at Roosevelt. I bet you're wondering, first and foremost, if we earned a letter for the month of March. Maybe we did, maybe we didn't. Maybe we're one step closer to taping myself and Mrs. Schaefer to the wall. But Mrs. Schaefer's not here to answer that question. Perhaps I'll give her a quick phone call. Give me a moment. Hi, Mrs. Schaefer, how are you? I sure miss you today for video announcements. Quick question, do you have a moment? Great. The students at Roosevelt and I are wondering if we earned a letter for the month of March. We did? Oh, wonderful, okay, I'll tell them. Okay, see you soon. Bye, Mrs. Schaefer. We earned a letter. We are one step closer to taping myself and Mrs. Schaefer to the wall at the end of the year. Keep it up. I've noticed a lot of you coming in earlier than you usually do, which means you're getting more time here and more time to settle in. Great work. So also with April comes some testing. I know our third, fourth, and fifth graders are working really hard on their state testing, and we wish you all the best. Do your best, show everyone how wonderful you're doing all that you've learned this year. And everybody else in the building, please keep our hallways super quiet during testing so that we can help our students concentrate and do their best. Keep it up. Oh, who is it? It's Mrs. Orange. Oh, Mrs. Orange, come on in. Hi, Mrs. Zaber, how are you? Great, how are you doing today? Good, I have some really exciting news to share. Oh, I love exciting news, please share. Our book vending machine is here and it's ready to go. Oh, this is great news for Roosevelt. I am so excited. Please tell me, how is it going to work? How do our students get books? So when you come down to the LRC with your teachers, after our read aloud, I will announce a few students during book selection to go down to the cafeteria with their teachers and use a special coin to select a book to bring home and keep. Okay, well, I have a couple of questions, Mrs. Sorge. This is really exciting. First, when does this start? You'll have to watch these video announcements and then at your next LRC time, I will start selecting students to go down to choose a book. Great. Now, what if you don't get selected the first day? Because I can't imagine everybody can go for the first time. That's a great question. Thank you for asking, Mrs. Aber. If you don't get selected your first time in the LRC, the next time you might get selected, but before the end of the school year, every student at Roosevelt will have the opportunity to go down to the book machine, pick a book, and bring it home to keep. That is so exciting. Now, what could I bring in quarters from home or pennies or anything like that to purchase a book while I'm waiting to be selected for the coin? No, Mrs. Aber, you cannot. We have special coins here at Roosevelt. They are the only coin that will work in our book vending machine. 
Well, let's go check it out. That sounds like a great idea. Let's go. Well, here we are at the book machine, Roosevelt, and we're going to show you how to use our book machine. Are you excited? Okay, me too. Me too. Mrs. Sorge, how does this work? Thank you for asking. Here's our special coin. This is the only coin you can use. Every student will get one. So when you come down with your teacher, you're going to choose it with this coin only. So here's your coin, Mrs. Aber. Thank you, Mrs. Sorge. You're I can't welcome. wait to use this. I have been looking at all of these books and they are wonderful. I notice sometimes behind another book is a different version in that series. So one you see now may not be there when it's your turn and that's okay. But I've had my eye on this book called Mr. Klutz is Nuts. And I say that because I'm pretty sure Mr. Klutz is a principal in that book and I love reading about other principals. So that's the one I'd like to get today. So where do I put this? Put your coin in this slot right here, Mrs. Aber. And then look over here, Mr. Klutz is zero, two, three. So you're gonna press zero, two, three, enter. Congratulations, Mrs. Aber. Oh, I'm so excited, Mrs. Sorge. Thank you so much for showing me how to use this machine and helping us stock and keep this machine going through the LRC. I can't wait to see what our students choose when they get their golden coin. You're welcome, enjoy your book. Thank you. Can you help me end announcements? Absolutely. Okay, remember Roosevelt Rangers, today Day and every, every day, day, be the best version of yourself. Of yourself.